Welcome back to Social 20-1. Now we're up to Lesson 6, Canada and World War I. After this lesson, students should be able to discuss to what extent World War I was a difficult but maturing process for Canada as a nation. Added to that, students should be able to evaluate nationalism as both a unifying and a divisive emotion. You do have an assignment here today. From the following, create a chart that explores difficulty Canada faces in World War I, Canada matures due to the war, nationalism divides Canada during World War I, and nationalism unites Canada during World War I. So in this cartoon, we can unpack the ideological perspective of the cartoon by looking at the details, signs of the times. And what we have is a, is a propaganda poster trying to inspire individuals to see Canada's role within the world community. And at the beginning of the war, Canada might self-identify as the greatest colony in the British Empire and then the greatest dominion in the British Empire and then finally the greatest nation within the Empire the idea within the cartoon here is that Canada's self-identity changes due to its role in World War One so something we'd like you to think about specifically what role is that which events during the war would convince Canada that Canada is an equal among other parties, not a subordinate, not a colony that's controlled by the British or a dominion controlled by the British, but a independent nation that is an ally of the British for sure, but it's independent of the British. So you can look back to Canada's role at major battles like Passchendaele and the Battle of the Somme and the Battle of Vimy Ridge and our achievements in those battles announces not only to the world but to Canada herself that Canada is a power in and of itself. Notice the year, August 1918. So towards the end of the year there's this, this discovery that Canada's own identity has changed. So Canada's role within the war can be summarized here. Um, yes, it's in cartoon. Yes, it's very simple. Uh, but it's an effective beginning. So I'd ask you to watch that two-minute video to explore Canada's uh, role changing during the war. Now, the evolution of Canada from colony to nation can be found by looking at some of these major events during the war. So here's an excellent summary. After you've seen the ten or the two minute intro to kind of capture, you know, what is it that we're looking at? Here's an excellent nine minute, I shouldn't even have ten minutes, it's a nine minute summary that will capture this transformation within Canada. So please watch that, take note. I have taken some notes for you. Here's a summary of Canada's role at Kitchener's Woods. Here's a summary of uh, the conscription crisis. So this would be one of those consequences of World War I that is dividing Canada. Here's some of that difficulty Canada faces. There's a quick 10 minute video about being subject to poisonous gas. Further to that, there's some uh, notes here about the casualties that Canadians face um, in light of those poisonous gas attacks. Here's a video about recruitment in Canada that will explore the sense of Canadian nationalism and here's another one that looks at the conscription crisis. So these videos highlighted in green should help you address this assignment in red.
Some would argue that Canada entered the war as a colony and came out as a nation. And that's the concept quoted within this article. So skimming through and reading that article can also help you identify this transformation. As far as I could see, there was Canada. This achievement at Vimy Ridge, the idea that the Canadians took the ridge, um, is this idea of this moment of national awakening. Once you're done the earlier assignment, there's some additional highlighting key Canadians like Billy Bishop, Francis Peganoba, and, uh, and others. Then there's some multiple choice that you can do at the end. And please email me your answers when you're done with that. So when you're done today, not only email me these answers that you get from those questions, but also uh, you don't have to email me this. But you do need to complete this because I'll take a look at that when I mark your notebook. So when you look at these questions, there's a reading comp about nationalism. And then there'll be some quick questions based upon the reading comprehension. All right, I'll check in with you again.